Crypto gaming, play to earn gaming, blockchain gaming, Web3 gaming. Everybody has a term for what gaming on the cryptocurrency space should be called. In this video, we're going to be going over the top 10 play to earn crypto blockchain Web3 games. <laughs> and we're just going to be going over it because the thing is, guess what? It's all the same at the end of the day. If you're going on Roblox, you're getting Robux. You're doing some form of play and earn or play to earn. If you're going out there, you're playing Counter-Strike Global Offensive and you're getting a skin from drops well you're doing some form of play and earn so i think it's high and high time that we show the quality of what the blockchain has been building over the past few years since the whole rise of axie infinity and so if this is something you enjoy or have wanted to watch for quite some time we've finally provided it for you and the only sponsor here is you the viewer and if you want to support the channel just like subscribe maybe leave a comment on your thoughts here on your top 10 play to earn nft crypto games and without further ado let's get into the tier list i want to talk about wild card now wild card is a game which pretty much everybody in the crypto space at this point knows it's built on polygon and it's pretty much this wild card is a web 3 enabled pvp collectible card based moba for gamers fans and collectors I actually looked into the lore for wild card and they've got an interesting thing going on frostborn asteroid is the home of the wild card there are champions and there are different people which come all over the galaxy to fight you're playing on the wild card the wild card is the arena and all across the galaxy they're competing to win and really bring the wild card glory the really cool thing about the game is that it's similar to league of legends however it's got that component where you actually have an energy system you have to go ahead put monsters out there from your deck so you've got a little bit of that trading card game thing going out there but you've also got the nexus from league of legends you've got a goal post on wild card and that is always the goal, right? To get there, to go destroy it. There are special abilities for characters and there's a ton of cool things. And this game is really shaking up the space right now. So definitely the first game I wanted to mention. In terms of the second game, I wanna talk about Dr. Disrespect. He's a really big creator and he's a heck of a lot of a tall man. Dr. Disrespect is now in the process of building Dead Drop. This is a vertical extraction shooter, the first of its kind. You have to go ahead, grab items, and extract them. Once you extract them, those become yours permanently. And yeah, you can spawn in with the fully loaded loadout. You can go ahead and spawn in and with nothing and then come out with a bunch of cool guns. You can come out there with skins. You can come out there with obelisks. You can come out there with floppy disks. You can come out there with literally everything. The goal is to get to the top, the Pico top, kill all your enemies, and win the coveted dead drop. In terms of the next game on this list, Alluvium. Alluvium is a triple A game. And when we're talking about triple A, I mean triple A. They're doing so many different things here. It's gonna be an open world exploration game. It's gonna be a city builder game. And it's gonna be an auto battle all on the Ethereum blockchain. People hate Ethereum, but they're building on Immutable X, so that's gasless. Everybody loves Immutable X on Ethereum. These games are called Alluvium Overworld, Alluvium Arena, and Alluvium Zero. Alluvium Overworld actually recently just started their private beta 2. It looks pretty incredible. Alluvium Arena is an auto battler. If you've ever played Dota 2 Auto Chess or TFT, you're gonna know how this game looks looks and alluvium zero is your mobile based game where they're going to have land functionality this game is going to be coming out later this year so definitely not one you want to miss now the next game on this list is spider tanks now spider tanks is a three versus three multiplayer online battle arena game where you get out there and you prove that the chickens are not the fiercest of them all instead you are the fiercest of them all you have to go ahead Kill people you've got a bunch of different objectives you've got chicken chaser where you go and deposit chickens into a barrel you've got poultry pusher where you push a chicken to the end of the map and stop the enemies from doing the same thing team deathmatch kill confirm and so there's a lot of really cool innovative gameplay modes that they're featuring and overall with the idea of ownership and earning victory points to then upgrade your tanks and do a bunch of different things Spirit of Tanks is doing it better than the rest of them on the MOBA genre right now. Now, the next one on this list is really cool. It's called Grand Saga Unlimited, and it's being built by Metapixel. This is a Korean studio building on the Aptos blockchain. This is not something you hear every day. 
But the idea, it's a lot like Sword Art Online, if you've ever watched the anime, where you've been thrown into this universe where you have to help this AI. The AI is called Lilith, and you have to fix and find all of these various errors and bugs that are threatening to destroy it. That's the idea. There are a couple classes in the game. Elementalist, Guardian, Gunner, Mage, and there's two other classes that we still don't know about it. In terms of an MMORPG, which is what this game is, the entire idea of the blockchain component is you're just going to be able to sell goods and services, or maybe you get a really cool sword on the open markets and highly sought after assets, you're going to be worth something. Okay, now that we've got halfway through this list, if you haven't smashed that like button, now's the time. So, Shrapnel. Shrapnel is a triple A FPS extraction shooter game that is building on Avalanche. This is the first AAA FPS shooter game on the blockchain. They've got call signs. Uh, you can experience a not too distant future where a mysterious substance has changed the balance of power as we know it. You're supposed to fight for it, extract it. The entire idea is that because this little whatever it is substance has become so powerful, the people that wield it are just really strong, right? So it's, it's become this resource where we're all fighting for it. It makes sense. You have to go ahead and extract it. And so, Shrapnel has been building for quite some time. The gameplay and the gunplay looks quite incredible. And in terms of all FPS shooters, this one's one of the more developed games. Now, if you're into Wild Wild West vibes, Grit is going to be the game for you. Grit is a Wild West Battle Royale game on the blockchain. They've got battle passes. They've got skins. They've got NFT gunslingers. They've got all kinds of stuff. The really cool gameplay loop on grit is the fact that they have wild cards the entire idea is they've got three different ones they have a calamity wild card they've got a suit wild card and they've got an undertaker wild card the difference between all these is the calamity is like a zone if you've ever thought of a zone uh, on Fortnite or any of these other battle royale games, it's gonna be the exact same. They have different zones. It could be train chase where you're chasing a train, the zone goes around it. It could be Crown of Coronado, which there's a crown that you wield and then you just run around and it just follows you. There's the golden horse where it follows literally a golden horse. And then, you know, there's the regular one. So there's a really cool gameplay loop in terms of that. The Undertaker gives you unique weapons that you can find around the map. And that's always cool. And the suit perks is like, if you get four golden hearts, that looks really cool and that's just good functionality to make you even that much stronger than your opponent so there's a lot of different things to think about here there's also a victory point system in this game as well where depending on where you place if you're top three you get victory points and at the end of the day that gets converted into gala token so there is literally a play to earn component on this game now in terms of mmrpgs that people are really looking forward to this is one that's actually on a different platform than the last one it's mobile and mobile mmorpg in 2023 people are really looking forward to this one treeverse has actually become probably easily a top three hyped project in the entire crypto space because of what exactly they're doing if you look at the gameplay here you're just gonna kind of see that it looks pretty clean if you're ever into the medieval vibes then if you're a vibester you're gonna vibe with this game in terms of what you should expect to be doing in this game you've got quests you've got exploration you've got building you've got foraging they have some unique mechanisms in the game, such as NF trees. I know, I know, NF trees, which give you minor buffs. However, they've said this a million times that whatever NFTs they sell will not create a big enough advantage to prove to people that this game is going to be friendly for the consumer. It's really important in 2023 to be like that. They've got plots. They've got these timeless cosmetic NFTs. It's kind of like skins and it's a free to play game. What's there not to like? Now, Mega Weapon, in terms of pacing this game, I am obsessed with it. I don't know what it is, but it's so action packed. There's so much going on at one time. So this is an action packed, fast paced, top down shooter with a highly competitive multiplayer experience. They've got a unique mechanic, which is called the Mega Weapon, which you go ahead and slowly accrue by murdering and killing all of your opponents. You pick up their parts and uh, I guess you go ahead and extract it to a specific zone and when you gain enough of this, you become the mega weapon. And once you're the mega weapon, nobody's gonna go ahead and mess with you. I'm just joking. Literally, everybody's going to go after you and you have to kill as many people as possible. However, I really like the gameplay loop on mega weapon. The mega weapon is so sick. When you actually play with this thing, there are different types. There's a ninja. There's one where it feels like you're a mac 
and overall it's just a gameplay loop that i like being a part of it's really fast they've got different game modes the traditional ones you'd expect you know a free-for-all team deathmatch and domination which is pretty much just capture the point now the last game i'd like to talk about is called metalcore now metalcore is the most expensive of all of the games on this list and there's a good reason i left this for last because there's a little bit we want to talk about here there's mechs infantry aircraft vehicles it's got first person combat it's got third person combat it's got territorial warfare it's got co-op pve and large scale player versus player combat you could win vehicles machines craft gear recruit pilots develop land sell and trade gear and much more as players battle for planetary domination there's a war of the galaxy and we need you to be a part of it that's why metal core is the last game on this tier list and with that being said i hope you enjoyed this quick rundown on the top 10 play to earn nft crypto blockchain literally any crypto term you'll put at this time uh game i just think it's incredible that we've gotten to this point where there's so many games that actually look good and play well and it's not like they're releasing in 30 years right it, they're releasing pretty soon most of these if not been already released and most of these games are going to be friendly for people playing and i feel like 10 years down the line we're going to look back at this moment and be like why weren't gamers playing to earn or whatever they were doing and being able to just sell assets in general from the start it's just going to be weird to them so i hope you enjoyed this video until the next time we keep fighting for you all we ask is a like and a subscribe and until the next time stay classy and that's all